Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and this here is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy, just enjoying the channels that you watch. If you do videos, enjoying the videos that you do. The troll part is not caring too much about what the beauty community standards are. And you set the standard for yourself. Try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique. Use whatever it is you want to use to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it. Because here, it is about self-acceptance and self-love, embracing your natural features, enhancing them when you want to or if you want to, but not feeling like you have to. I do use foul language on my channel sometimes because I use foul language in real life sometimes. Thank you for being here. Let's get to the video. Mary asked me to explain the differences between a matte lipstick, a liquid matte lipstick, a gloss, etc. So that's what this video is. We're going to talk about the differences. I'm going to do swatches on my chin. I was going to say forehead, but we're going to do them on my chin. Hopefully everything will fit. Uh, my forehead is bigger. I have a five head. Anyway, y'all yeah, being silly. And so thank you, Mary, for that request. And it is challenging. It, it is challenging. Um, I do suggest if you're near a Mac store, go to the Mac store and swatch the different finishes. They have frost, they have velvet, they have matte, they have ultra matte, all in bullet lipsticks. And we are going to talk about differences between bullet lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. But if you can get to a Mac store, because they have so many different finishes, go in there and swatch each one because then you can you can feel the difference. And so I can explain it, but then when you feel it, it, it may make more sense. Um, so we're going to start with uh, actually <laughs> three matte lipsticks. This one is not from here. Where's my other one? I think I got, oh, it's here. Hold one moment, please. These three. We're going to talk about this one too. This I got at the CCO, so it may not be available. These may or may not still be available at the Mac store. These are from the Keith Herring collab that they did. This is yellow. This is blue. This is red. This confuses the heck out of me because the red is the blue one and the black is the red one. I always want to think it's red. But anyway, these three are different finishes. And so that's why we're going to talk about those. And just for comparison, we're going to talk about this one too. I do wish I had other bullet lipsticks in this finish in the different finishes so that you can see what the finishes are and just to see how they compare. And I'm pulling out another matte, MAC, excuse me, lipstick. This one says it's a frost. And a frost shadow typically, and it's yellow, that's why I wish I had a frost one besides this one that was a deeper tone because everything else is deeper because I love me with a dark lip. Like this is my vibe. And a frost is usually just a barely there color. And I do have one a full face foundation and everything. And But a frost is just a light wash of color. For me, they feel very comfortable on my lips. They, they feel very soft. And now I have foundation on my lipstick, but that is okay. So that is a frost, very soft subtle color this one is also a frost but this one is a dual chrome and i should have put that over this but this is a different gloss over a black lip but this is also a frost and so the same deal where it's a subtle color very smooth to put on frost finishes will transfer very easily because it is so soft and emollient and but they are very comfortable to wear. So if you're still wearing a mask, this is March 11, 2023, you put on a frost lipstick, it's gonna be inside your mask because it will come off. If you accidentally brush your lips, it's gonna come off. You kiss someone, it's gonna come off. And But these are frost and it's a very sheer, that's the word I was looking for, a sheer wash of color. This one is velvet matte. And when I applied it, it felt comfortable on my lips. It does give more color. And you can see where the color is more saturated than the frost. And this may not be a good example because it's yellow. So how saturated is it going to be? And this is a frost as well. This is a velvet matte. And in the video when I applied it on, the video I did the try on, 
it felt smooth going on. It didn't feel drying on my lips. And so I'm like, okay, this is really nice. And it is saturated. These are, everything I've shown you so far are bullet lipsticks. And it's because it's shaped like a bullet. So that's why they call, they call them bullet lipsticks because it's shaped like a bullet. This one is just called matte. This is a matte finish. And when I did the try on in that video, it feels drier going on. It feels like it's pulling against my skin and it felt like it was pulling on my lips. And I'm like, this feels drier than this one. And when I looked at the bottom of it, it says velvet matte. This one just says matte. So for me, a matte formula, the bullet lipstick matte formula does feel dry going on. The color is very saturated. It may last a little longer than a frost or even a velvet matte, but the trade-off for me is that it's not as comfortable on my lips because it makes my lips feel dry because it is just a dry formula. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and for me, this is just the MAC formula. There are other matte bullet lipsticks that people say they're comfortable on the lips, they feel good, they don't make my lips feel dry, but for me, the MAC matte bullet lipsticks they do feel dry on my lips and they do make my lips feel dry and even after i remove my makeup i'm putting on extra chapstick because my lips still feel dry so those are bullet lipsticks another bullet lipstick i'm going to show you and it doesn't say what the finish is like this says frost that said frost this said velvet matte this said matte this doesn't say these three products I'm going to show you are from the Nima Tang Dose of Colors collab that she did. And I do like the formula of this bullet lipstick. And it may say on the Dose of Colors website, I'm not sure. But I don't like the color of it because that's the color of it. This is my vibe. <laughs> so looking at my vibe, which is a dark lip, and this one... You can tell why I don't prefer the color of it. It does feel really smooth and it does feel really creamy, but it doesn't say what finish it is. But this is another bullet lipstick. I do use this for if I'm doing a collab or I'm recreating a look and they have a nude lip. This is a perfect nude lip for my complexion. And again, the website may say what finish it is, but on the container, it does not. And I am looking again and it does not. It has dosacolors.com, made in USA, and it's vegan. That's all it says on the bottom. So that is that one. So we're going to move over to a gloss because you did ask about the difference between a gloss. I'm going to show you two different glosses. This is the Nima Tang Dosa Colors gloss, and I love it because look how rich that is. I don't come across a lot of glosses that are saturated with color. <laughs> and this one really is. A gloss feels good going on. To me, the majority of them feel like chapstick, unless it's something um, like this is a Pat McGrath gloss and it's dual chrome. So it looks like it has particles in it that makes it shiny and it's very pretty. But there, and it feels smooth on this one does, the patent ones do. But there are some glosses that if they have the extra shine or the glitter, you may feel that glitter or whatever it is in there on your lips. And so when you do this, you may actually feel the gloss because of the, the pieces or whatever is in the gloss. But this one is a very smooth one. The Pat McGrath ones I have are really smooth. Another example. This is from Nomad, the Fete Provence collection. These, I can fill them on my lips because they do have the particles in it that makes it shiny. So these, I can fill it, but it's not uncomfortable because my lips do not feel dry. But if I go, I can fill the, the gloss <laughs> on my lips because of the particles. But, and again, these these glosses, it's, it's, they have color, but it's a very sheer color, similar to this even though this is a bullet lipstick and so some glosses will to me usually have just that sheer kind of color whereas this one i love it because number one is dark and number two 
the, the color shows up surprisingly for a gloss. And we're going to compare that to the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And this one is in hot chocolate. And yes, they look different. They're both browns, but they're different. So for me, this is what a typical gloss looks like. Even though it, it shows up as a color, excuse me if you heard that in my throat, it's a sheer color. And as you apply it on your lips, this is what will happen. If I just go like this, it's like, oh, that's brown. But as you put it on your lips, this is what's going to happen. It's going to sheer out. And I do like the gloss bombs. I only have a few colors because for me, a gloss that's just one particular color. Like this is a black lipstick and I have this over it. So that's why this looks shiny like that. And it looks like it's colorful. And, you know, you see some shine on there. But for me, most glosses from this one to this one, they kind of look the same on my lips. And unfortunately, I do have lip stuff on. But when I don't, and if you see videos, you know, before I apply the chapstick or even with chapstick on because it's, it's translucent, my lip is not one solid color. The exterior of my lip is a little darker than the interior of my lip. And I find for me, when I put on a gloss, it just enhances one of the natural colors in my lip. And so even putting this on, you may think, okay, this is really going to give me a deeper color than this one. They almost look the same on me. It just highlights or accentuates one of the natural pigment colors that's naturally in my lips. So this, these two are glosses. So there are some that, that are pigmented, but for me, most of them, they are just a sheer wash of color. They feel, they feel excuse me, very comfortable on. They do transfer very easily because they are so, what's the word? Emollient? Because they are so, and it's not that they're liquidy, because you see they're not running, but it's just a sheer wash of color. I wish I had a lip stain to show you because that's the one thing I don't. But we're going to talk about it even though I don't have one to show you. If there's a lip product and it usually comes in a container like this or a container like this. A lip stain is a lip product that you put on. It has a lot of color. It may show up like this. Whatever the color is, the, the color will show up. And the thing about a lip stain is that once it wears off or you eat something, you're drinking beverages throughout the day, it will wear off, but it will stain your lips. You will still see a hint of this red. You will still see a hint of the blue. You will still see a hint of the brown. And that's why some people like lip stains is because even when it wears off, you still have some color on your lip and you will most likely need to use makeup remover or something or other to get that color off. The same how some people say, oh, the shadow stained my lids. And so my lids are still pink from a red shadow I used the other day. That's the same concept with a lip stain. Not that the eyeshadow stain is intentional because it's not, but a lip stain, it will stain. So even when it wears off, you will still see that color on your lips. And some people like it again for that reason. If they're still wearing a mask or if they drink a lot of fluids throughout the day, they don't have to be concerned about, oh my gosh, it wears off, I have to reapply it. And we will talk about um, reapplying lip products in a moment. I was gonna say, don't let me forget us if we're talking face-to-face, -face, Mary. I feel like you're right here with me. This is another MAC liquid lipstick. And this one is in caviar. This is what I have on my lips and I placed this Maybelline gloss on top of it. So that's this lip situation that I have on now. And it's gonna show up because it's black, it's, it's dark. And so this is that. And this being a matte liquid lip, even when it dries, it will not easily transfer. If I'm rubbing, like if I'm eating like, you know, a cheesesteak or something, yeah, it's going to come off. But for the most part, once a matte liquid lipstick for me dries down, that color will stay. It'll take a lot for the color to wear off. And the reason I like the MAC matte retro lip colors and the um, those are colors matte lipstick 
is that it feels really comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel drying. To me, it feels like a frost or the velvet matte from MAC. And even this one, it, it feels very comfortable. It doesn't make my lips feel dried out like this one. It felt dry on my lips. It felt dry applying it. When I wiped it off, my lips felt more dry than you know earlier that day before I used it. But this one, the MAC Matte Retro Lipstick and the Dose of Colors Matte Lipstick, they do not feel dry on my lips. They apply very well. Also, the Fenty Stunners it is in first place with the MAC Matte Retro Liquid Lip Colors. They go on smooth. The color is saturated. It takes a lot for it to wear off. And it feels comfortable on my lips. Like it doesn't feel like I have this dry product on my lips. And speaking of the Dosa Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick, this also is from the Neva 10 Collection. This is what that looks like. Matte lipsticks, depending on the color, will be very saturated. Like if this was a pink, it wouldn't look as saturated, but you would still definitely see the pink. But because I like darker colors, that's why it seems like they're really showing up is because they're darker colors. And again, this feels very comfortable on my lips. It's very easy to apply. And once it dries down, it takes a lot for it to transfer. Not saying it won't, but again, it takes a lot. Like if I'm eating something greasy or if I'm eating spaghetti with spaghetti sauce or, you know, I'm just drinking a lot out of bottles instead of a straw, often on throughout the day, it may come off. But even with when it wears off, for me, it wears off evenly and it's not looking patchy. And so that's why I like the liquid lip products that I have is because of how they feel on my lips how they wear throughout the day, the ease of application, and also the colors, because I prefer the darker colors. And yes, I just touched it by accident. The last one I'm going to show you is a liquid lipstick, and this is from Rock and Roll Beauty, the Ozzy Osbourne collection. And I'm looking to see if it says what finish it is, and it doesn't, so I don't know. But this is what this one looks like. And I have the blue one, which to me is like a blue black, and it's called Bat Wings. And I'm putting this here because it's the same type of color. It's in the same color family. And so that's what that looks like. And this one does have a shine to it. This is the color down here at the bottom. So it does have some shine to it. So it kind of looks like a cross between a liquid lipstick and a gloss. Like if you were to put this. Was that a gloss? <laughs> if you were to put this. Yeah, that was a gloss, the Nima Tang gloss. If you were to put this on top of this, I think it would look similar to that because it has that shine to it. And so because it has a shine to it, it is not a matte liquid lipstick. The difference between like a frost or a velvet matte or a matte liquid lipstick is that a matte liquid lipstick will have zero shine. This black has zero shine. This is a matte lipstick it's it's like a flat color it's not a shine this is a velvet matte so it has a little bit of shine these are frost you see a little bit of shine but the matte ones this one here the liquid lipsticks and this one zero shine is the color is what the color is and so that is that one um what was I going to tell you earlier to remind me of as if, as if we were face to face? Oh, reapplication. I like the matte liquid lipsticks that I have because, as I said, it takes a long time for them to wear off. I'm not a reapplier. If I need to reapply lipstick, I won't. If it's a gloss, I will because it's easy because it doesn't take a lot of energy. It doesn't take a lot of effort. If I'm reapplying this one, I can't mess up with it. If I try to reapply a black this here, I need to like take my time, look in the mirror, make sure it's lining up with my lip line and all of that. Whereas with a gloss, you can just put it on haphazard and it's going to look right because it's not really a strong color. Like this is not really a strong color. You know what I mean? And so I don't mind touching up glosses if I eat something and I'm out. 
you know, I'll reapply it after I eat. But for the most part, I do not touch up my lipstick. And so the matte, I was going to say MAC, the matte liquid lipsticks I have, I like because when they do wear off, they wear, they wear off even. And so it doesn't look patchy. Like you can't, you won't be able to tell, okay, this wore off here, but it looks different over here. Or the color looks different on my top lip than the bottom look. It'll wear off and look exactly the same. There are some liquid lipsticks that when they dry down as the day goes on, because you're talking, your lips are moving, you're smiling. So your lips are stretched out, then you're not, and they're back together. Or you might be like, hmm. So your lips are making all these movements. Well, mine, just like my face. I'm just like, eh. you know what I mean? And so <laughs> just like how my foundation may crack here is because I'm laughing. So my smile lines are coming off. I'm like this all day. It's not going to break up. And so it's the same with my lips. If I'm talking a lot, I'm laughing a lot. If I'm wearing a mask, the, ew. the lipstick, <laughs> sorry about that. The lipstick may start to crack. If it's a dry formula, you're smiling and laughing throughout the day, and then you'll look in the mirror and you can see the lines where it cracked from when you were smiling, or if you go like this a lot, it will look like it's patchy. Or you'll be able to see the lines in your lips because the lipstick was so dry. And then with the laughing and the talking and the making faces and you're doing all this stuff, you can see cracks in the lipstick on your lips and some liquid lipsticks are so dry to me that it actually may look like it's flaking like the inside of my lips here like this part here or like this part down here it may start to look like it's flaking and again i like the formulas i like because they don't do that but there are some liquid lipsticks that are so drying It'll dry, patchy, and throughout the day, it'll start to look like it's flaking. And they call that the butthole effect. <laughs> like your lips look like this. And it looks dry and cracked on the inside. Like this part here will look dry and cracked. And if you think of what a butthole looks like, it's like <laughs> dry and cracked. <laughs> So that's what people mean when they say it gave me that weird butthole effect. That's what they mean. Their lipstick looks like, and it's dry and cracked <laughs> towards the inside. <laughs> and it's not funny, but just the analogy of it, like it's really what it may look like. And so with those lipsticks, those liquid lipsticks, I would actually just remove all of it and then reapply the entire thing if I felt like it. Or I would just completely remove it because it looked like a, a butthole, dry and flaky. And I would just put chapstick on or a lip gloss. And so they're, depending on your lips, whether your lips are always just hydrated, um, you don't have naturally dry lips, different formulas will feel different on you. And it's really challenging to find a formula that you like how it feels when you apply it you like how it feels on your lips and you like how it wears throughout the day and what the reapplication process is going to be like i like lip, liquid lipsticks again because I'm, I'm not a reapplier and when i was using different liquid lipsticks and they were giving me that dry flaky butthole look i would just end up wiping the whole thing off and just putting on chapstick because i'm like it's not worth it for me to keep reapplying all of this and making sure it looks good like this right here I know this is a bomb ass lip. So instead of trying to redo all of this, I would just wipe it all off and just put on a lip gloss or chapstick. And I, I'm hesitant to recommend brands because different people like different formulas. But for me, I do really like the Mac matte retro, or is it called the Mac retro matte lipsticks? I do like um, the Sephora brand liquid lipsticks and also Sephora brand. There's a sale coming up where it'll be 30% off Sephora brand stuff. And so if you just want to try one of those, and they do have a wide range of colors, but of course I have the dark ones because I like the dark ones. And if you like colorful ones, they do have colorful ones and they also have 
you know, browns, tans, they have pinks, nudes, uh, mauve colors um, in their liquid lipstick line. As far as trying different finishes, I do suggest if you can, just go into a MAC store and just swatch them because this one was a frost. This is a velvet matte. This is just a regular matte and you'll get to feel what the difference is in the different formulas. And that will be an easy way to just see what they feel like without having to buy it. And again, these are called bullet lipsticks. And even this one is called a bullet lipstick, even though it's not shaped like a bullet, but they still call these bullet lipsticks. Um, and for lip gloss, it's just a sheer wash of color, just to add a little bit of shine to your lips. And I even have a clear one. So if I'm using a blue and I just want it shiny, I'll put this on top or you know, put the black on and then just put this on top just to make it shiny. But when you put a gloss over a matte liquid lipstick, it will cause that matte liquid lipstick to break down faster. If I just had this by itself, this will last me almost all day. And I mean like six to eight, nine hours. But because I put a gloss on top of it, it'll transfer quicker because the gloss is breaking down the matteness of the liquid lipstick. And so that's something to think about too. But it's fun to do this. And I know when it wears, it's going to wear off even because this does wear even without giving me that dry cracked butthole look. And so I hope this was helpful to you, Mary. I hope this was helpful to all of you who are watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And I have my lippies over there. So I'm just trying to see what else I might be missing. But I think um, pretty much that's it. Um, but if you do have any other questions, just let me know down below. And, um, and also if you have thought of something I didn't think about and you wear bullet lipsticks, matte lipsticks, frost lipsticks, whatever kind of lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, like if you use different finishes than what I mentioned, or even if you do feel free to leave your comments below on your experience with them. And Let's help each other out down in the comments. So even though it was a question Mary asked for me, I know some of you may have, well, I imagine some of you may have a different opinion or a different perspective or a different experience than I did. And in that, and in that, but that's what makes it helpful in the comments when you guys do comment, because I do think it's helpful to hear the opinion and perspective and experience of more than just beyond the troll. <laughs> So thank you for being here and thank you, Mary, for that question. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. And as always, self-acceptance, self-love, and awesome swatches and a teaching moment. That's what the Crazy Troll Nation is about. Thank you for being here and you will see me again soon.